he didn't have an electro performance, and he also agreed with the German fans who stopped donating the Fiat of anger. Now he faces a couple of charges. Is being a gangster to his music, and he's not actually. There is evidence of him building Korea at one point in Times Square, shit. and there is evidence You're of him being his gang. I guess it just remains to see what the FBI has on him. One thing I feel like. I feel God. Only two things I'm scared of. Top it right. off! God for first. Got a threat. Changing! I'm dry! I guess we'll see Takashi 6 ix appearance on Meme Review in 32 years. I'll be waiting, don't you worry. Or possibly from jail. That would be pretty epic. From what I understand is that he could face probably minimum 3 years from the charges that he has against him. Most lucky. Maybe they work out some sort of deal. But it looks like Takashi will serve time in prison regardless. Passing the question. Go Imports is making incredible deals on premium pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. This November, stop Go Imports for amazing deals on exceptional pre-owned luxury vehicles. We have Hurry. Steals won't last draws our comprehensive selection of both luxury and import cars, SUVs, and trucks. We'll see all current offers online at GoImports.com. The Go Import staff is here to help you find the perfect gift at the best price. Go Imports, your premium pre-owned imports dealership in Gilbert, Arizona. Enjoy a seven-day no-glitched policy with every purchase, and 12-month, 12,000-mile coverage on select eligible purchases. We bring it to Go Imports. We'll buy your car by one of ours. Drive happy and save money. Go imports. What do you think? This is so sad. Last but not least, we've so lost the advantage. The fine media is shutting down and will lay off it. Where we talk about the news uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> if you don't know, the fine media is the company that owns Smosh. It's Smosh. I didn't know about the fine media until I heard about the. Sexual abuse allegations that Andy Senior and the media as well. Ironically, Andy was one of the people that called me out on Twitter for being wrong. Although these were allegations and we don't know if they're true or not. And also Andy apparently is suing Defy Media.